Thanks for checking this out. Uh, this is my first, like, real unboxing for this horror block that I have. Uh, the last one I did was the grab block for horror block, and it was one that I'd already opened and then decided to do the unboxing video. So this time you'll actually get a legitimate surprise, you know, reaction to whatever's in here. And I will be cutting it open, so just to prove it all. Um, very exciting. Came home from work. It's sitting on the doorstep. Who wouldn't love that? A surprise box of stuff. In this case, horror related. I'm a huge horror fan, so thumbs up on that. I'm recording this in October, so even better. Love October, favorite month. So let's go ahead and get into this. Cut away from yourself, people. Always. I learned that lesson the hard way a few times in my life. And I'm going to have it like this so I don't really see what I'm pulling out. So, might as well do the shirt first because it's right on top. Let's do it. Alright. So, what do we have? Oh, okay. So, this is the, sep by the way, this is the September horror block. And the shirt is a movie I've actually not, uh, sorry, not watched yet, but I keep meaning to. But it is for the movie Misery. Um, based on Stephen King. I can't, I want to be able to see like what I'm showing at the same time. It's a little rough. Uh, yeah, so there's a shirt about, for, shirt for misery. Pretty cool. Um, I like it. I like it quite a bit. Uh, the outline of the person is pretty cool. The fact that that font, that font looks awesome, doesn't it? Oh, so horror-like, like a little bit of like splatter to it and that hook that the Y is making is super great. Yeah, awesome. Very cool. So, Misery, Stephen King, um, awesome. You gotta respect the Stephen King. So, leave that over there. I already like that quite a bit. And like I've said before, I mean, this block itself is like 20 bucks. Uh, that shirt, at least $10. I mean, I, I don't know anyone else who's paid like less than $10 for a shirt, especially one like this. Feels like it's, you know, good, sturdy quality. It's a good shirt. I like it. Let's move on something furry in here which is kind of weird oh uh, it's a plush oh my god it's a creepy ass plush but it's kind of fun <laughs> it's an it plushy uh pennywise the clown from from it uh probably the movie that started all clown fears for people around the world and um we're having real life clown problems now probably inspired by this at some point at least uh <laughs> wow look at the face the face alone, look at this, is super scary. It looks pretty dead on, to be honest, for what Pennywise looked like in the It movie. Uh, I hear they're going to be doing a TV series, I think, like a remake of it. Uh, the body looks fine. I mean, it's pretty normal. It even says It the movie on it, so it says it's for 17 and above. I don't know. I guess people can't handle the you know jagged teeth if they're younger, but that's fun. <laughs> it's funny. I like it. This can be displayed pretty easily, and it's cool. So, Pennywise, you stay there. Don't try and kill me. Next up. I'm trying to find... Alright, there's something that's kind of wrapped. Oh. Wow, what the heck is this? Oh my gosh! That's pretty cool. I already think that's cool. I'm going to throw all this crap over here. Okay, so it's a, it's a hanger. You can hang stuff from, so uh, probably best used for like hanging your keys on, stuff like that, like right next to the door, your front door or whatever. Um, so there's a way to affix it, obviously. But it says Red Rum, uh, obviously backwards is murder. This is from The Shining, which The Shining is an outstanding film. If people out there have not seen it, shame on you because The Shining is amazing. Stanley Kubrick, Shelley Duvall, Nick, uh, Jack Nicholson, all that greatness. Which, by the way, if anyone is interested, Fathom Events, they do a lot of fun stuff with um, bringing back older films, putting them in theaters. Fathom of Events this month, October, I believe 26th, it's either 26th or 28th, is the first showing. Uh, they're going to be bringing the original Shining to some select theaters, so go to fathomevents.com and check that out. I will be checking that out because I've always wanted to see it on the big screen. It'll be amazing. So this, by the way, super awesome. It looks like... You know, kind of like the door um, that 
uh, Jack Nicholson's character ended up bashing through with an axe in the movie, and it, the writing looks very similar to you know how his kid wrote Red Rum. Um, it's cool. I like it. I think. I mean, it's it even looks like they even made it look pretty dirty in there, like within the little crevices, it looks dirty, and I mean, it looks like blood. That's really cool. Um, it's something that can actually be used too. It's not just a decoration. It's decoration plus you can actually do things with it, like hang all sorts of things on there. I don't know, dog leash. Uh, like I said before, keys. Think about anything else. I don't know. Plenty of things. That's super nice. I like that. Very cool. Uh oh. Okay. Awesome. Well, this is exciting for me. I am a subscriber to Rue Morgue Magazine, as I said on my last episode, and so I'm going to be getting Rue Morgue no matter what. What I don't get as a part of being a normal Rue Morgue subscriber is these things that they put out from time to time. They have these larger books where it's kind of a bunch of interesting things. Sometimes they do it with like the top uh, indie horror films that you should see in their opinion or they did another one with um, I don't know like weird state facts all sorts of like random stuff so here we are this is their Monstro Bizarro one which is basically about cryptozoology type stuff sightings of things like Loch Ness Monster you know Bigfoot whatever um, so that's cool I did not think I would be getting my hands on this ever because, like I said, as part of my regular subscription to Rue Morgue Magazine, which I love, 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 you don't get these things. So I would have to purchase it in addition, and I don't even know if I can get it around me. So um, that's awesome. It even says, it says back here, U.S., it's 15 bucks in the U.S. So between this, the shirt, I mean, you're already over the $20 that you spent to get this. But very excited to pop this open and read about some cool crypto zoo stuff. That's great. That's awesome because I actually thought it would just be another Rue Morgue um, and I would have two October, or I'm sorry, September Rue Morgues because I already have mine and I've been reading it and it's always amazing. But hey, I got something else. Kick ass. Love it. We have, oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, we, a signed item, which is really, really freaking cool. Um, this is signed by PJ Souls. Uh, PJ Souls from Halloween, Carrie, uh, Rock and Roll High School and Stripes, but us horror people and people getting horror blocked probably care most about Halloween and Carrie. Although Stripes is an awesome movie too. I love that movie with uh, Harold Ramis and Bill Murray. So, a uh, certificate of authenticity for it says who it is. It's PJ Souls and uh, legit signed by PJ Souls. Um, it's not like a huge glossy or anything, but this is. Definitely big enough to display. Definitely fun, interesting. I don't know if because of the glare it makes it a little bit easier to look at this way. I'm still getting a little glare, but whatever. But very cool. I mean, PJ Souls. Like it. That must be from her from Halloween is my guess. Um, sorry, I haven't seen all the Halloween movies and I haven't seen Carrie either, but I'm about to this month. That's my plan. So anyway, awesome. And the... Uh, Certificate of Authenticity, always, always important for things like this. I like it. That's great. I was not expecting a signed item. That's really cool. I like that a lot. And it looks like another, might be the last thing in here, and then they just have their normal stuff. But, um, oh, it's a print uh, for the Dark Tower. Um, very cool print for the Dark Tower. Uh, I've not read the Dark Tower. I actually have the first book on... Uh, audio disc. I'm sorry I'm old. I do audio disc. I know some people are like, oh my god, you're not using like one of those uh, downloadable MP3 services for books. No. I have an old ass car that I drive around in. I actually call it the Crustacean because it looks so crusty and crappy. So uh, I'm, I'm rocking CDs. So I haven't gotten around to listening to the first one, but I'm hoping I like it as much as a lot of people say I will because then this fun uh, print will be able to go up on my wall because it's from the Dark Tower, which Stephen King did that as well. Obviously, the theme for this box pretty much is Stephen King um, with Carrie. You know, PJ Souls was in Carrie. You got your Dark Tower. Um, Rue Morgues doesn't have to do with that because they're, you know, they're always in there in some capacity. You know, the uh, um, Shining, Red Rum, Door Thingy, or Wall Thingy, uh, It, and Misery, obviously. 
which is really cool because I actually don't have a whole lot of Stephen King type stuff, but I greatly respect the guy because of, I mean, hell, he's Stephen King, and if you like horror, you got to like Stephen King at least to some degree. So it looks like that's pretty much it. Um, then they just have, uh, you know, you can get your $10 credit if you want to get a different box from Nerdblock. You've got your $10 credit if you want to get a shirt from Shirt Punch. Um, oh, a little bit of a teaser. Next month for October, they're saying, oh, we're going to have some Nightmare on Elm Street. I'm down with that. Also going to have some Halloween and Hellraiser. Very much down with that because Hellraiser is my favorite. Pinhead is my favorite villain of any horror film. So looking forward to that. Uh, and then it's got, you know, your explanation of what you're getting, which is really cool. And has a little bit of information about this Red Rum ordeal right here. Uh, Shining Red Rum, rum Key Hook. Oh, I was right, Key Hook. All work and no play makes Jack a very dull boy. Bring a little piece of the Overlook Hotel home with you today. Hang your keys or your noose on this exclusive Red Rum Key Hook. Yeah, cool. Um, you don't really need that, but it's cool. It's fine. Um, so that's the box. Uh, I like this box. I was very happy with this box. The shirt is really cool. The Misery shirt looks outstanding. Very, very good design on that. The It plushie, while I'm not huge on plushies, I actually think this is funny and cool and fun. So, especially because it'll scare people, you know. People are creeped out by clowns a lot, especially now. So that's awesome. Uh, this, super cool because it's from The Shining and I love The Shining. And they made it look old. And they made it look like it's from it. And it serves an actual purpose. It's functional. That's super cool. The Rue Morgue Extra, I wasn't expecting that. That's great. And like I said, it says it's 15 bucks on it, which is great. Um, the Autograph by from PJ Souls, uh, wasn't expecting that at all. That's an amazing bonus. I love getting horror autographs. I actually have a section in my basement dedicated to horror autographs. So this is going to go right up there with all my other stuff. So that's a huge bonus for someone like myself. And then the print from The Dark Tower. You know, while I haven't, you know, read any of The Dark Tower, don't know too much about it. I know there are comics as well for it. I haven't been through those. Um, th it looks awesome. And knowing that it's The Dark Tower and knowing that I'm going to get to it at some point, it's exciting and it's cool. And eventually I'm sure I'll put it up. I can probably put it up with my, you know, horror signatures. So um this has been a really nice first straight-up horror block for me. Uh, very happy with it. Better than I thought it could come out. So super excited about that. Uh, thanks, everyone, for checking this out. Stick around because I'm doing BAM Box in October, and obviously I'll be doing my next horror block in October, which I'm already very excited for because of the teasers of Love Nightmare on Elm Street. Halloween, mm, I need to get into it a little bit more. I'm not as big into, into like, Friday the 13th and Halloween. I like things that are a little more weird. Um, but Hellraiser, damn. Uh, any item from Hellraiser, I'm pretty much immediately going to be happy with, I, I think. So anyway, everyone, thanks for checking this out. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, based just off this, I would say get yourself some horror block because looking good. Anyway, until next time, everybody take it easy and keep it brutal.